Uh, DC Comics presents Cheshire 5, Part 1. Just some explanations first. This is, uh, that's all I've got for Part 1. Reason is I had had these notes written out a few days ago. I'd written it out and I was going to work on working on finishing it. But I got inspiration this morning and um, early, earlier today and did Cheshire the rest of it, but I did it on, on a video on this. On this. So, uh, and I hadn't done this as a video yet, of course. So, it just ends up it's going to happen in part one and part two. Because the part two video is, is, is sort of done, the rest of the story, really. So, it's really just one story, one video. But, but it's just going to be done as two videos. Of course. Just the way it came out, I suppose. So, this is just the notes of Cheshire, Cheshire 5. Uh, and we'll call it part one. Arsenal and Cheshire are monitoring the the activities of Theophilus Euclides. Arsenal planted a tracer in the form of a cockroach, a little little bug, funnily enough, in the form of a cockroach in Theophilus's gym bag where they were at the gym chatting with him. Um, they traced Theophilus to a cafe in downtown Atlantic City where Punchline shows up and chatting to a Theophilus. She's met him before in um, the... Ghost, the ghost make, one of the Ghostmaker stories, Ghostmaker 4, I think it is. Um, I think it's, or, or 5. I think it's 5. Ghostmaker 4 is, with Captain Carrot, Ghostmaker 5 is the, um, no, it's Ghostmaker 6. It's Ghostmaker 6, Punchline 1. Ghostmaker 4 had already ran out. So in Ghostmaker 6, I think it is which, where the Punchline story is. And, um, yeah. And so that's where Theophilus, you Clades is introduced, Ghostmaker number six. Ghostmaker one, two, and three are written as stories at DC Comics present at DC Comics Snow Hide, volume three or something, two or three at nohidebooks.angelfire.com. They're the written stuff. Anyway, so that's where that's where Theophilus Euclides shows up. Ghostmaker six, I think it is as a video on the channel, that's his first appearance. He's the one talking punchline at the cafe. They use a long-range noise amplifier to listen to the conversation, but no incriminatory evidence or conversation takes place. We can't prove anything at this stage, says Arsenal to Cheshire, but we'll continue to monitor on Batman's request. So Batman has essentially requested that Arsenal monitor this situation to see if they can demonstrably prove that Punchline was involved because I'm not 100% sure that they can prove she was directly involved with the, the assassination, which the, the hit, which took place on a, on, a, on a guy called Robbie. It was just Robbie, he had a surname, but it was just nicknamed Robbie Rotten, and, um, which was done by the Ghostmaker. They retired that afternoon back to the hotel room and resumed the conversation on us conversation on Arsenal's, according to Cheshire, interest in Punchline. But after a bit, um, they're, they're planning to go out that night to a restaurant, a Vietnamese restaurant in the city. They're in Atlantic City. And um, his, she's ironing a dress, and he's uh, getting his socks ready, and they, um, the conversation switches to about a power girl on his step. So that's, that's basically the information for part one. Part two has the rest.